Welcome to Help I'm a Pastor. This is episode 19 of uh, season 3. And we've been talking about the, the, you know, the fact that God calls a pastor and his family. It's not just to him. Um, you know, it's a pastoral family. And uh, we started looking at the priorities that God has set. And today we're going to be looking at, you know, what is, what is your second priority in life? Even as a pastor, you know, what is your second priority in life? Now, I just want to recap uh, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Jesus came and told his disciples, I've been given all, all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commandments I've given you and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Now, we've, we've spoken about the fact that, you know, Jesus came and he built 12 disciples. And the 12 disciples became the apostles. And if Jesus focused on 12 disciples, forming his character in them, please understand, you cannot really meet the spiritual needs of your church beyond 120 people if you, don't, if you haven't made disciples. One person cannot reach everyone. And this is why um, it, it's so important that we do that. We also started speaking last week about the fact that your number one priority is the Lord. And imagining and dreaming his dreams and desires for your life and for the church. It starts there. If you're a pastor and you do not know the will of God, if you're a pastor and you do not get, you know, the way that God wants you to lead his church, because at the end of the day, the church, the local church you lead is not your church, it's his church. And we need to lead his church according to his vision. And so your number one priority must be God. We looked at that, um, at that last week, and, and, and we spoke about the fact that many believe in him, but few are living their lives as if they are in love with him. We need, we need to learn not just to, to believe in him, but to be in love with God, that he becomes our focus. Amen? Let's just pray together, and we'll get into today's word. Father, I just pray for every pastor, every minister, every cell leader, any person that is watching this, that Lord, you'd give them a revelation in terms of your ministry for their lives, that you'd overwhelm them with your love and with your glory, that you'd touch them with your presence, and that um, you would just bless them mightily. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, what is your number two priority? So if you're living for God, in other words, your entire world revolves around God. He is your number one priority. What is your second priority in life? And I want to tell you, <clears throat> that your second priority is you. Your second priority is you. And, and the reason why you are so important is not the way people normally think of it in the world's context or the way many people say. You know, I need me time. I need me time. This is not about you needing you time. What the issue is, is that God uses your life as the conduit through which he's going to do everything in your world that he's going to do. He's going to touch people that are in your life through you. He's going to touch your church through you. He's going to touch your ministry through you. The power of God flows through you as a conduit to the people in your family. Therefore, you have to focus on yourself. You have to focus on yourself because for you to line up to God's will, for you to line your life up to God's word is going to take an incredible amount of focus on your part. It's, you're going to have to pay really, really careful attention to it. And um, the biggest thing that you're going to have to learn to do is to guard your mind, your will, and your emotions. Now remember that, that your mind, your will, and emotions are housed in your soul. Your soul is your mind, your, your, your will, and your emotions. We get that from, 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 the, from the Bible. And you have to guard that with everything that you have. Let me tell you, the place where the enemy is going to attack you the most is in your mind, in your will, and in your emotions. Even if you go and you look at the temptations of Jesus, the temptations of Jesus came in, in the form that the enemy came to him and he tempted him in the area of his mind, his will, and his emotions. And so I want to encourage you with that today. That you really sit down and you analyze and you think about what's happening with your life. 
that you think about being strategic and being accurate in terms of how you lay your life down on the tracks that God has set for you. That you protect your temple. Remember, your body is the temple of the Lord. That you protect your temple. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That you protect yourself with everything that you have. And how do you do that? You test every thought against the Bible. Everything that you think, every emotion that you go through, every experience, that the way that you, you relate to anything in your life, you, you test it against the Word of God, against the Bible. If you're not doing that, there are problems in your life. If you're not second-guessing yourself with the Bible, let me tell you, there are problems in your life. It also comes to looking after your body, especially as you start getting older. Making sure that your calling is not cut short because you never looked after your health until you die early. And so number two is you. Your number one priority is God. That your life revolves around Him. That you are full of the Spirit. That you are full of His love. Where there's love, there's no aggression, there's no fighting. If you're married and you're a man, if you cannot love the woman that you're married to, that you see now, how can you love God whom you, who, whom you can't see? For a man to be in love with God, he's got to first be in love with his wife. And that's why priority number two has got to be you because how are you lining up with the will of God for your life? If you're not focused on that, you're not measuring up. And that's the same for every single one of us. If we're not focusing on that, we're not measuring up. And so if you're going to pastor your church correctly, if you're going to pastor your ministry correctly, your cell group correctly, you have to put God first. And then you have to put yourself second. Now next week we'll continue looking at your number three priority. And uh, for many in the ministry, the number three might also surprise you a little bit. But um, I encourage you to join us for that. Also, if you are interested, because everything we're talking about is based on the G12 vision, if you want to imp imp implement the G12 vision in your, in your church or your ministry, please contact us at g12attheactivechurch.org. That's g12attheactivechurch.org. We'd love to assist you with that. And then finally, if you want to know high level what the G12 vision is all about, then please go and look at the playlist. You'll find the playlist on the Active TV channel on, on YouTube um, for season two of Help I'm a Pastor, what we did is in about 40-something episodes, we went through the vision at a high level in, in 8 to 15-minute episodes, similar to the length that this one is. And um, if you go through all of those episodes, it's not that, that amount of time, you'll get a high-level view of what the vision is all about. Amen. Anyway, let's just close in prayer. Father, I just pray that your hand will be upon every ministry of every person that engages with this program. I pray that your hand will be on them, that you bless them. And then you take them from strength to strength and glory to glory. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll see you next time. God bless.